All nine Adams County judges have recused themselves from my case. See here, order of the court, upon the recusal of all magistrate and common pleas judges of the 51st Judicial District. Apparently my first video here showing Judge Harvey Weinstein hiding his buddy stabbing me scared them a little bit. This is the support that I get from for getting stabbed in Gettysburg. That's between you and the district attorney. This is this is where he broke the law. That's between you and the district attorney. I'm not making a scene here. I'm looking for a help from my dis from my state representative. There's nothing I can do. You can call the state police. You can call the state police and they said that if you called, they would investigate. But not only that. The DA confiscating my phone. It winding up in the possession of the attorneys I was investigating for criminal judicial misconduct. Then the cops conspiring to throw the case again. The so I gotta number, go Kale home. While you guys are sitting here, while you guys are sitting here, I'm gonna go home. Okay. I'm gonna get that box and that EIN number, and then you guys are gonna tell and so it's Nestle Roberts Law, and then that phone's gonna move right back into the sheriff's right. office. It shortly winds up back in evidence lockup. It's brought a little heat down on the county. Let me direct you to the bottom of my court ordered recusal here, CCing the Attorney General's office. Word on the street is that all Adams County prosecutors have been relieved of prosecutorial duties in my case. So after two years, the Attorney General's finally looking into this? Yeah, but his history of delving into things doesn't bode well for this guy with two thumbs. Here I am reporting the governor's broken-hearted niece breaking into my house and planting drugs, sending me to jail twice on the same charges. When the cops get called, I can show them documented evidence of it all. So just go. I know you're crazy. Go away. Go away. And here we are reporting the local crony that stabbed me and had the entire county cover it up. That's crazy. So who do you know around here, man? Who are you tied into? Uh, nobody, really. Really? Really? So how'd you get off for stabbing me? Well, uh, I'm not off. And here we are emailing the Attorney General's veterans rep detailing our plight and linking the hidden camera footage of my VA rep stalling my case. So disrespectful. How's your social security claim coming? I don't know. It's stalled, man. Yeah. You got something on that? Boy, what do you know about that, Stan? Damn, bro. You sure you want this guy to prosecute your case? Yeah, I do. Because I don't care if I go to jail. I love playing cards. See? Me and my bestie being sworn in as brigade space champions. But cards are no fun if you don't have friends to play with. Go fish, bitch. I'm good at that, too. So... Let me do some splaining on why these judges all recuse themselves. Remember during my audit when I mentioned discrepancies in the court record? Right. And that would work if you guys actually reported correctly electronically what goes on in those courts, but you don't. See here we have retired Judge John D. Kuhn. From here on out, Master Judge Kenobi. They use this guy's Jedi mind trick anytime he needs to make a court ruling before he's even assigned to the case. And here is Sith Lord President Judge Michael George engineering this handoff down here on the 24th, citing a recusal filed way before this from young Padawan Judge Simpson. But remember what I said about doctoring the court record? Right. And that would work if you guys actually reported correctly electronically what goes on in those courts, but you don't. Let's pull that stenographer's report from the case he's citing for her recusal. Mind you, this is involving a divorce with the same influential attorney family that wound up with my cell phone after the DA confiscated. Here, young Padawan Judge Simpson says, All right, you wish to have a continuance to seek new counsel? And dude says, Yes, I am requesting. That's it. Dash dash. Now that's just weird. And locker room lawyers will tell you that's just stenographer shorthand. All right, so I'll also show you some of this stenographer's shorthand later in the hearing, and that's Mr. Rutowski, which is an agreement between blank, because I've seen that paperwork Mr. Quinn put out, and it sets her mother blank, her mother blank, Mr. Quinn, do you know who Julie's mother is? The court, sir, this is hyphen, sir, Mr. Rutowski, it's Barbara, Joe, and Twistle. I want it on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make this up, y'all. It really sounds like this in the courtroom. Why do you think I was trying to attend again? So I'm good to go in there, right? You're not good to go in there. So let's count. One, two, three times we used the force on the record in one sentence. And lastly, while we're talking marital funds, we lightsaber the shit out of this. 
just completely cutting out Padawan Judge Simpson from the record. But the fun doesn't stop there. Are you guys ready to burn a fed? Do Spartans wipe in the woods with pine cones? <laughs> All right, you're looking at an email from Elf on a Shelf Esquire local fixer attorney Patrick Quinn to Barbara Entwistle. In it, he says Padawan Judge Simpson may appoint an impartial master lawyer to separate assets for her daughter's divorce. See here, we option David Schonbacher. Well, who the fuck is this guy? Apparently, he was a federal agent for the Fed. Then segues into the Pennsylvania Bar Association as the chair of the family law section. See here, young Padawan Judge Simpson is so familiar she's an attending fangirl of his winter meeting. Let's see how fair and impartial special agent Schonbacher divides up assets for Barb Entwistle's daughter. Daughter. See here? Special Agent Schombacher's equitable distribution? He immediately gives all liquid assets to Barb's daughter, leaving husband nothing for food, let alone lawyer bills. Oops, I lied. He left him this sweet farm truck so he can pick up roadkill for Stu. You see, the way he evens this up on paper is through real estate. All you gotta do is get Master Judge Kenobi's brother-in-law to do the appraisals and mark it up 350% to cover the spread. And even they could lawyer explain that away. Except that by this time, Judge Kenobi is presiding over the case, citing his brother-in-law's real estate appraisals. Yeah, that's pretty in-your-face illegal. They're usually better at hiding things than that. Check out $1 Barb Entwistle doing one of her famous $1 real estate deals. But it's for her daughter in the law firm, and that can be legal with family transfers. But wait, what's this? Young Padwan Judge Simpson gets a house for a dollar? As does Master Judge John D. Kunobi. <laughs> That's just two of the judges that recuse themselves. I got stacks on these mofos. Judge Campbell is the one that conspired to give my triple attempted murder an illegal sentence, wiping it from his record. And we got Sith Lord President Judge Michael George. Famous for his gay panic murder defense. Single-handedly throwing out a childhood sexual assault case for his buddy five days before it goes to trial in the state capitol to hide the HUD fraud that's going on in town. But that's all the time I have for right now. I have to work on my criminal defense for trespassing in a public building. Oh, no, Plus, I'm missing out on a lot of time with my best friend. Ready? Go get first me. Get it, 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 get it. Nice catch, buddy. Which is all that Attorney General Josh Shapiro is gonna find when he breaks into my phone that he still has. So please, can y'all share my story before I'm thrown in jail for five years when my best friend dies while I'm locked up? <laughs> I think it's just snow. Normally he's only that excited about rolling in poop. Are you happy there's still some snow out here, buddy? Get it, boy. You make a little doggy snow angels. Chocolate dog snow angels. You good? You get enough? Nope, not enough.